The world is fucked up, man. I've seen people kill each other. Around the world, wars are started over oil and over religion. And over other stuff, I guess, too, that I'm not really sure of. Gorillas are dragging children through zoos. And people are just doing it for no reason. And it's only started happening since April. I mean, I've nothing bad happened before April. Nothing bad at all. We needed a savior. We needed multiple saviors. We needed something to help us. Something to make us hope again. And just then we looked to the skies. What is it? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No. The clouds parted. And a whisper was heard. Breath of the Wild is coming out next year. A new PS4 is coming out this year. Resident Evil 7 is announced. The Last Guardian will release this year. In between all that though, we saw something else. This wasn't a whisper. This was something going crazy. This was the whole world cheering as we found out that Dark Souls 3 is getting DLC on October 24th. Hi guys, welcome to the Roaming Recess. Uh, I had my hood up uh, for dramatic effect and also I don't think my hair looks very good today. But how many times have I said that in this show where I just opened up the show by saying, I don't think my hair looks good today and then draw attention to my hair. Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, it's, it's, it's who I am as a person. I'd say we gotta talk about a lot of stuff and I wanna talk about a lot of stuff. This is uh, of course just an intro for people who haven't seen this before who are just new to my channel and I'm really happy that people are coming in and watching my stuff now. Um, the, this is a show where basically I talk about stuff that, that went on in the gaming world, talk about the things I played this week, and then talk about the channel in general. And then if you would choose or if you want to, I never say this at the start, uh, which I think is kind of a big mistake. But at the end of the, every episode, I ask you a question on something, and it's usually to do with the show. But really, I just want people to give their opinions on the topics that I talk about as well. Today we're talking about Dark Souls 3 DLC being announced. Uh, we're talking about the PS4 hopefully releasing a slim and a new model this year and of course also uh, PS Plus going up by three dollars. So we're gonna start off by talking about the PlayStation Plus thing because a lot of people will see this as not very big news. Uh, I myself don't know how to feel about it because I don't live in America or Canada. I don't know if it's coming to Europe. I don't know if PlayStation Europe in between the time I've made this or started to make this and I've seen the original post have even uh, stated that it's going to be on play on European PlayStation as well, but so far they have not said anything about the Euro, have not said anything about the UK or a pound, they've said dollars in dollars. Uh, it will be now $10 a month, $60 for a year, and I think $25 for three months? I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. Um, personally this doesn't affect me, so I can't really talk about it that much, but what I can also say is don't judge anyone else's wallet. Um, don't do that because I think that's one big mistake that a lot of people on the internet make is when they're like Come on guys a video game is just $60. Come on guys a collector's edition is just $150 I uh, usually people that are saying just $150 or just $60 are the people who um, Can't remember a time when they could already buy one game a year or one game every once in a while um, I do remember only being able to buy one game a year, so I, I still can talk like that. My hair is not communicating with myself today. Um, but is $3 that much? Um, it could be. It could be to someone who has a Netflix subscription, has a Hulu subscription, and maybe is patron to someone. I myself am patron to Easy Allies, and also I'm a Rooster Teeth uh, first member. Um, and I also pay for PS Plus. Um, that's, you know, it may not seem like a lot, and it might not be a lot, but it bumps it up from $16 a month to now $20 a month um, for all my subscriptions. But granted, with Rooster Teeth, of course, I could pay just $20 for six months, which is a bargain. Or I could just go to PS Plus and pay $40 for a year, uh, because that's how much, 40 euro for a year. Um, I live in Ireland, if you don't know, that's why I'm talking in euros, because we use the euro. And that's why we, that's why I'm talking in euros and not in dollars. But guys, tell me what you think. Do you think this is a big deal? Uh, personally, I don't know. I don't know if this is a big, this might be a big deal to some. The thing I'm going to say is, personally on it, 
you need to sell you need to give me better games <laughs> if you're gonna bump it up um, Xbox has it as 10 because this is what they said uh, this is actually what they said and I actually tell you what they said paraphrasing here they actually said to to basically adapt to the changing uh, price points of video games uh, which makes sense I guess in a way when they started doing it the uh, PS Plus it was always $6.99 and I guess they are adapting to it but is it putting it up to the same price as Xbox adapting or is it just saying uh, Xbox we're, we're, we're gonna have the same price PS Plus the same same price um, subscription services you but the difference is guys I don't own an Xbox but I've seen the games they give away in Xbox Gold holy fucking crap it is amazing some of those games need to be on PS Plus uh, but they won't be uh, I don't think they will be I think we're still stuck with uh, great PS3 games and great video games but just subpar uh, indie uh, PS4 titles that are good but maybe not worth the subscription service that a lot of people pay for it Still talking about Sony here, um, Sony might be uh, actually bringing out two new consoles now. Uh, one of them being the PS4 Slim, which I'm totally interested in the design. It doesn't look very slim. Uh, it looks like, um, say if the PS4 is exactly like, uh, actually I'll actually measure it. Say if the PS4 is that size. Uh, it's like this. <laughs> and it's, 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 it, yeah, it's slimmer. Like, no one can say it's not slimmer, but um, they have buttons on it now, which I always prefer. I prefer the button feeling of pressing down on a console is always more, you know, the click is always much better than the beep. That you just touch something, beep, you know, the beep, the, the beep. It's not, as, it's not as cool as the, the beep is not as cool as the uh, click, you know, beep, click. You know, it clicks much better. I might seem like I'm pretty demented right now, but I'm just, uh, I've had a long, long day and it's been a beautiful long day, but it's been long nonetheless. Um, they've also talked about that next month they're also going to be revealing the Neo. And apparently it's upgraded its specs to compete with the Scorpio, the Xbox One Scorpio, which makes sense. Uh, the Scorpio was announced, and guys, no one can deny this, it was announced to compete with Sony's console. They, they announced it early, which was stupid. Uh, I'm guessing. They announced Xbox One Scorpio a year early, not even, more than a year early, a year and like six months early, because... Um, because they, they, they wanted people to know, hey, th don't leave Xbox, we're gonna have a console as well that competes with Sony, it's gonna be better than Sony's console. It's gonna be better than Sony's console. People are like, how can they sell a console like this for fucking, fucking, for fucking, uh, $500 when it's gonna be this powerful? And the trick is, by next year, all of those parts, it's the same with Sony's console, even though I only have a PS4, I don't have a gaming PC. Uh, all of those parts are probably going to be outdated in terms of PC world. Not outdated, but they're going to be like, there's going to be new, like they're going to bring out like a te the 10, or like the 1100, and then all of a sudden the 1080 goes down in price. It just happens like that. Things are going to be way cheaper next year, guys. It's going to be way cheaper to manufacture. Um, and I think when it finally releases, I, I'll probably look at it and probably, you know, take a look at it. But I think I'm going to be buying the Neo if I'm going to be buying any console, just because I have all my games on the Sony console already. What do you guys think? Uh, do you, are you excited about these two new consoles? Do you think they have anything to do with the price point of PS Plus going up? Like they're trying to supplement losses maybe? Uh, because the new consoles they're making might be too costly to make. Again, give me your opinion. You're going to buy the Neo? You're going to buy the Slim? I don't think anyone's going to buy I don't think it's going to sell that well if I'm honest. I mean, you know, if they bring out a Slim that's like 300 and a, a Neo that's 400, um, are people really going to sit there Again, I don't know. I, I uh, personally, I wouldn't. I would go for the 400 one. I would save up just a little bit extra to get the 400 one that is more powerful. That's just my thinking. But then, I don't know. It could be completely different. I actually um, probably show a few pictures of the slim design here uh, throughout this episode. But uh, it's really depending on what you guys, you know, what, what everyone thinks. And I want to hear what individually you think. You know. Alright guys, so it's time to bring out the big guns. It's talking about Dark Souls 3 DLC. Something I'm very excited for because the Dark Souls franchise is one of my favorite franchises of all time. Uh, it always has been. And uh, that's I'll actually like read, read what the, is said about this actually here. It says that the Japanese gaming blog Hashima, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, reports that Famitsu Magazine uh, Famitsu Magazine, which is, has leaked a lot of Dark Souls stuff that has turned out to be true, has said that there's a DLC coming out called Ashes of Ariandel. Um, this will include a fiery sword, powers a light-filled boomerang, um, and also a new uh, immortal competition, as it's called, which will be a new PvP. 
Um, I'm excited. I'm pure excited. There's not much else I can really say about it until tomorrow when the trailer comes out because we are getting a trailer tomorrow. But on this channel, we will be doing Dark Souls 3 DLC prep. We did Bloodborne DLC prep last year. We're doing Dark Souls 3 DLC prep this year. Um, I can't wait for it, guys. It's gonna be one of the. I think it's gonna be one of the, the bigger DLC releases of the year since Dark Souls 3 did so well. Um, I hate to like make you know the full intro about Dark Souls 3 and then just go. This is all I got to say on it. I'm excited. I think it's a really cool thing uh, that th this is happening. We should get the official trailer tomorrow. If you get the season pass, by the way, guys, you get it for cheaper with two of the DLCs. And also you get a theme for your PS4 or your Xbox One. It's like a Christmas theme. It's like a snowy theme. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got to say on that. So this week I've tried Warhammer for the first time. Uh, Warhammer is a game where it's like a strategy game where you have little pieces of uh, army men and you like roll dices to kill them. I, I didn't think I'd have fun. Honestly, I thought I would hate it. Uh, but I actually loved it. I came this close to winning my first ever uh, fight because um, I got to a point where uh, it was like one-on-one -on -one between the two leaders and it was fantastic. It was felt so good. You were just, It was just like... Like, it felt like one of those duels you see, it was like Aragorn versus Lurtz. It was something like that, like, that just felt like, this is this is big. Even though we nearly, barely ever hit each other, but it was big, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, in terms of what I've been playing, I'm reviewing Fallout 3 uh, this Saturday on the channel, and it's taking up quite a bit of my time, so I've been playing Fallout 3 this year, just replay, week this week replaying it. To give you a hint, I make a lot of jokes about how all their faces look like potatoes. And I also make a lot of jokes about the glitches, but I also talk about how I could shut off my mind for three hours straight just wandering the wasteland. It's a fantastic thing, guys. It's really cool. Um, that's pretty much what I've been doing this uh, in the past week so far. I have been playing a bit of Dragon Age, playing a bit of um, Persona 4 Golden as well. I'm trying to. I'm 17 hours into that game, guys. I want to finish it before Persona 5 comes out, and uh, I don't know if it's possible, but it is. I've also been playing Twilight Princess, which will be finished hopefully in the next couple of weeks, uh, depending on uh, what's happening, I guess. And finally, let's talk about the channel, guys. So, Twilight Princess has not been as popular as it was, and that's completely expected. That's an expected thing. Uh, I don't think it's uh, it's fair of me to ever say, you know, like this series more than the other series. Majora's Mask was a liked series because it's a very liked game. Uh, personally, I prefer Twilight Princess because it's a little bit more... Uh, controlled for me, I think, if you know what I mean. It's it's smoother for me uh, to look at and to play. Um, but on the channel, as I said, Dark Souls D DLC prep will start tomorrow. It will be uploaded at 6 o'clock GMT, hopefully. And uh, also, uh, this next Tuesday, I think it is, we will also be doing Resident Evil 4, the PlayStation 4 version. Uh, I can't wait to play that either. Um, I'm going back to college, of course, uh, next on the September 15th, so uploads will not slow down uh but the reviews will not be of games that are so in 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 true you know you know incredible uh i will not be playing fallout 3 or fall new vegas for review in september i would not do that that would be insane um yeah guys that's pretty much the channel talk really i'm i'm really happy with everything i'm always really happy with everything obviously the, it was a little bit shaky over the past month or so because of uh exams and also because i i i said i was getting too complacent and i started a whole new show a whole two new shows and one of the shows didn't really pan out and uh, it will hopefully make a return soon uh, but right now it's just on the chopping block and I think it's gonna be chopped but roaming recess and the review show stays uh, because I wanted to stay and that's just that so guys um, as I asked I asked the questions already you can talk about it down below thank you very much for watching this guys this has been the roaming recess I really 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 enjoy doing this and I'm gonna continue to do this every single week even after class finishes i'll come home from school every monday record it in the evening like i always do uh oh yeah i shaved by the way as well just slightly i wanted to keep the kind of uh stubble um so yeah i'll see you soon guys thanks for watching